has been something of an achievement, as Kay Alexander explains. It's certainly no joke trying to organise rehearsals for the cast of this opera, because over 300 children are involved. What's more, they travel from 28 different schools in and around the rugby area. So when they do all arrive in at least half a dozen coaches, it's still a question of, have you got your costume, headdress, banner, shield, and what about your packed lunch? But at last, rehearsals get underway in the historic hall of one of the most famous public schools in the country. commissioned by the Rugby Schools Music Association to write a work which involved children from 28 schools and so it had to involve really about 300 to 350 children uh, in all. Uh, so I looked around uh, the various Greek legends, I've always been fascinated by the, uh, the Homer legends uh, and I sp uh, spoke at length to my wife about this, she's uh, helped a great deal with the libretto in fact and uh, we finally came up uh, with a short list of two, the Trojan horse and uh, the story of the Cyclops. And uh, we, we finally decided on the Cyclops story uh, for various reasons, the main one uh, being that uh, it does involve more people. Gwen Proudlock, you're the co-producer of this work. What were the problems involved? I think the main one is the problem of communication with so many children and so many schools, so many different members of staff in charge of the part that they were teaching the children, that every single thing that you had to communicate had to be really written down in a long letter. You couldn't just sort of chat to somebody over the telephone and say, we'll do this or we'll do that. Uh, it all had to be written down first. The poor soul can't see you. He's blind in both eyes. He's been cruelly treated. You because the schools cover such a wide eyes. area, Val and I went out to different schools and took practices perhaps with two or three schools which had come to a neighbourhood school to rehearse. And then by the end of last term, just before Easter, we had one large practice with all the schools singing there. It's very difficult to control 300 children at a time, especially when they're very excited about coming to a rehearsal. At the singing rehearsals, we trained everybody very carefully to listen to the sound of the baton on the stand, so that everyone would stop whatever they were doing then. But at an acting rehearsal, when actors are at different parts of a hall, then we found that to blow a whistle very firmly is the only thing to do. A lady called Caroline Weatherup designed the costumes and uh, sheets of instructions were given to all the children to take home to their parents. The more difficult ones were made in school, Odysseus's army, by needlework and art teachers. One of the most difficult problems is in fact that the Temple Speech Room is the only place where we can fit an orchestra, all the actors and all the chorus, all at the same time. And therefore our, our time in that uh, room is, is limited. And that is one of the main problems. Do you feel a bit funny wearing a skirt? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, during the play a few times I've gone up, straight up there and uh, this has slipped off. And I've had to keep on dragging it behind me without looking back. And it's <laughs> got a bit long and it's tripped. Well, I, I've enjoyed it quite a lot, you know, because I've, I've never done a, a solo in a big part like this, you see, and, uh, and I haven't quite sang as I have done before, so I've learnt from the music point of view quite a bit like that. Did you know you had a good voice? No, <laughs> I, I thought I had a terrible one. Well, when... Um, in a sort of group, you don't feel so much on your own, you don't feel so nervous, but when we have to stand at a balcony on our own sort of thing in the play, you do get a bit nervous.
How old are you? And that opera opens at rugby school tomorrow. Time now for the weather. We join in Nottingham. John Ketley.